Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video might be seen and shared. Celine Driver once again coming to you with another unboxing and review of a watch that is not mine. This is a another watch I received uh, what what I call a tour watch. Um, if you're not familiar with that concept, uh, I have reviewed many tour watches on this channel already. Uh, these watches come to me via a, 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 a watch channel a host named Random Rob, a, a fellow watch collector with a very large uh, watch review channel. He also has a Discord server. And on that Discord server, members of that server are able to join uh, 12 at a time uh, watch tours where a watch that uh, Random Rob gets into his channel for review is circulated amongst a group of 12 or so uh, Discord members. They get the watch shipped into them. They get to play with the watch, review it if they have a YouTube channel, if they wish wear it for a few days, and then ship it along to the next person on the tour. At the end of the tour, the watch is either uh, auctioned off to members of the Discord, or uh, I guess Rob sends it back to the um, company that loaned him the watch. I guess that sort of depends on uh, the deal he worked with the company. This watch is a micro brand watch uh, from a company I'd never heard of before uh, called um, Wolves of Odin. Odin being a, a Norse god um, of old. I believe he was the god of warfare. I think. Probably should have looked that up, shouldn't I? Anyway. Um, the watch is made in Norway. Hence the... Um, reference to Odin, uh, the old uh, Norse uh, Viking uh, god, I guess the god of war. Beautiful watch. Beautiful logo. Nice wolf's head. Comes in this uh, little bubble uh, case, travel case, if you will. It would definitely make an excellent travel case, e even if you didn't take the watch with you. And inside, it, very simple, no paperwork, no warranty cards or anything that came with it, is the watch itself. This is a very nice, simple three-hander. I'm going to open the uh, strap up here so we can do what we do. Called the Wolves of Odin Adventure Watch. Um, it is marketed as an all-around adventure sports watch. It, it has the depth rating and the bezel to be a dive watch if you so desire. Although there is a, a small issue with that, which I'll get to in a little bit. Screw down crown, which is unscrewed, but let me screw it back down. Uh, crown guards integrated into the case. Um, it is... Um, a very tough looking titanium case with a helium escape valve, a uh, FKM rubber strap. Obviously, uh, such a strap would be excellent in, um, in all around sports, whether it be water sports, whether it be hiking in the mountains, a field watch, going camping, uh, biking, running, what have you. Interesting little uh, metal work inside the uh, strap just below the uh, lugs with uh, you know nice hunk of metal there. Titanium, of course, with the um, Wolves of Odin logo etched into the cross. Now, those of you who know the uh, Norwegian flag, it's a red flag with a blue and white cross uh, running through it. It's kind of an offset cross. But I think the cross in the um, 
strap here is meant to mimic that somewhat. Screw down case back. This thing is held in with bolts, Allen head bolts. So easy to get to inside if you if you have the right Allen key, which obviously you know any hardware store would have it. Uh, this is number 20 of 500. This is a limited edition watch. Uh, screw down crown is a signed crown with the Wolves of Odin logo. You have the Wolves of Odin logo at the 12 o'clock position inside. Date complication down here at the um, 6 o'clock. Heavy loom on the uh, dial. The uh, indices are applied to the surface. You have a 60 click bezel. Very chunky click, but it's also a bi directional bezel. Uh, the, the, as I said, there's a small problem with it being a dive watch in the fact that it is bi directional, and you could, even though those clicks are fairly chunky and firm, it could be bumped and go in the opposite direction, and that may or may not be something you'd worry about as a diver. For me, I'd probably worry about it because almost all the other dive watches I've ever encountered are unidirectional counterclockwise turn. But, you know, get over it, I guess, right? Uh, it is, uh, you know, gradiated um, with the minutes. And the first 15 minutes are, are, are you know, single minute graduations, or not graduations, gradation. And then, you know, every five minutes after that, all the way up to uh, the 60 minute, which has a nice little... Uh, loomed pip big indices at the 12 3 and 9 obviously they couldn't do one at the 6 because of the date window beautifully made watch i like i like the colorway on this i like the the blacked out bezel the blacked out um screw down case back black um strap the nice pop of um, titanium in the in the middle of the strap that's very interesting I've not encountered anything quite like that before it does flex at both joints so it does make for a very comfortable fit I'm going to try this on for you wearing this watch was definitely a pleasure it's also a uh, titanium uh, pin and buckle setup And as you can see, on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, it fits beautifully across the wrist, as you can see from the overhead shot and the down the barrel. It fits very nicely. It's not an overly long watch lug to lug. This definitely could be a watch worn by someone with a six and a half, maybe even a six and a quarter inch wrist. off very comfortable strap but it is a bit much to work with when it comes to buckling and unbuckling you can see the buckle is titanium as well it does have the logo etched into one corner it is a beautifully made watch I'd say in terms of quality feel and the way it runs and, and such it is the equivalent of one of the higher end uh well-established micro brands we won't mention any names you all know who they are absolutely a beautiful watch that could stand up to any of them and definitely stand up to the likes of seiko or citizen or uh, even some of the uh, moderately high-end divers If you unscrew the crown, which it does so very easily with an audible pop, and you can feel it as well, the first pull is the date set. Second pull hacks the movement, allows you to set the time, puts it all back in, 
screw it down again. It catches the threads very easily, very quickly. Very smooth. And as I said, very nice integrated crown guards in case you knock it up against something. It will protect the crown. Now I do have my sheet of facts here. So I can go over the vital statistics. And as, oh, of course, as you saw, it does have an exhibition case back. The movement is minimally decorated. Um, the movement that's in there was never really meant to be much of a, a looker. But it's, you know, it's nice to have if you like that sort of thing. This is, of course, the Wolves of Odin Adventure Watch made in Norway. However, the movement is Japanese. <laughs> it is a Miyota 9015 movement. Now, why is that significant? Well, as I've been harping on for many, many videos, uh, micro brands are not here to reinvent the wheel. They are here to present unique and original and fresh designs. The use of in interesting materials and finishes and and forms and all that, but they use off-the-shelf movements. Uh, Miyota, Seiko, ETA, Solita, uh, Seagull in some cases. Uh, some of the higher-end ones use uh, Le Jeu Pere. And higher-end ETAs and value movements, depending on the watch. If you're a movement snob, and I've encountered more than my share of those, um, you know, you probably aren't going to like the fact, oh, another micro brand using a Japanese movement, blah, blah, blah. There's no originality left in the universe. It's on and on. Uh, okay, go buy yourself one of those exotic watches with exotic materials, with in-house calibers. And when one of those fails, uh, enjoy spending a few thousand dollars to ship it off back to the uh, country of origin and the place of origin and paying for all that exotic material and one-off uh, movement. Ask me how I know. Anyway, rant over. Titanium case, sapphire crystal, flat crystal on top, sapphire crystal on the bottom. As I showed you, this is a 60-click bezel. It is bi-directional. It's, you know, chunky, but, uh, uh, you know, chunky movement, chunky sound, but it does lock in very nicely and does give you a feel of good quality. Even though it is a 200-meter water resistance watch, it does have a helium escape valve. That might be overkill, but, you know, hey, nice to have. FKM rubber strap, it feels great, it's nice and smooth, it's soft, it's flexible, it's supple, it's not sticky, and it doesn't smell funny. So me who keeps saying that they're not the greatest fan of rubber straps is, I am a big fan of FKM rubber straps. It is a 43 millimeter case which for me is right in the sweet spot of 42 to 44 millimeter case diameter. I, I happen to like that size watch. I am comfortable going down to 41 or 40 millimeter or as high as 46 or 47, but uh, 42 to 44 is the sweet spot for me. 11.5 millimeters thick, 48.1 millimeter on the lug to lug. 22 millimeter lug width. Now, all the measurements except for the lug to lug were off Odin's website. I will leave a link down in the description to that website. I didn't have to measure on my own the lug to lug, and I came up with 48.1 millimeters from here to here. And as I said, it's a 200 meter water resistant watch. Really, really a nice watch. Short lugs. The strap, as you can see, drops right away down and away from the case. So it's very comfortable to wear. Um, I like, I've never seen this before on other watches with this metal uh, insert in, in the strap. I think that is really a great look. Um, very unique look. 
I like it, but if you don't, obviously, even though it doesn't have quick release spring bars, they're easy enough to get to. So you can just pull down and away, and there's a spring bar right there, ready for a tool. And put your own uh, strap on the watch. Beautifully done. Uh, I I don't know much about uh, Wolves of Odin's uh, in terms of how they run the company. I have talked to a couple of people who own these watches and are very happy with the service they got and the and the quality of the watch. So, um, I'll, and those are two or three people that I, I trust their word. If they say they have good experience with Wolves of Odin, I'll go with that. You know, me being able to handle this watch in the metal for a few days, wearing it, enjoying it, I would say they've done it right. And you should go definitely check those guys out. As I said, I'll leave a link to the website in the description. So I hope you found this video to be useful, entertaining, and informative. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. That does help with the uh, YouTube search algorithms and draws people to the channel. So please take that one second to click the thumbs up button. Comments, questions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you're going to troll me or you're going to leave links to bad places on the internet, I will simply delete the comment and block the commenter. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, glad you found it. Hopefully you'll uh, take the opportunity to stick around, watch a few videos. All I ask in return is that before you leave, please click that red subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell icon too, so that when I upload new videos or I go and do a live stream, you will be alerted. Meanwhile, as I always say at the end of my videos, it is a crazy old world out there. It's not getting any better, folks. <laughs> I wish it would, but it isn't. So I ask all of you, uh, friends, enthusiasts, compatriots, Please be careful out there. Be safe, be well, see you soon.